The Internals of Postgres Chapter 7 Heap-only tuple and index-only scans This chapter describes two features related to the index scan, which are the heap-only tuple and index-only scans. 7.1 Heap-only tuple, hot. The heap-only tuple was implemented in version 8.3 to effectively use the pages of both index and table when the updated row is stored in the same table page that stores the old row. The heap-only tu tuple also reduces the necessity of vacuum processing. Since the details of hot are described in the readme.hot in the source code directory, this channel briefly introduces HOT. First, section 7.1.1 describes how to update a row without HOT to clarify the issues that it resolves. Next, section 7.1.2 describes how HOT performs. 7.1.1 Update a row without HOT. Assume that the table table has two columns, ID and data. ID is the primary key of table. The table has 1,000 tuples, the last tuple of which, uh, of which the ID is 1,000, is stored in the fifth page of the tu uh, in fifth page of the table. The last tuple is pointed from the corresponding index tuple, of which the key is 1000, and whose TID is 5, 1. Refer to figure 7.1a. Fifth page, 1, 5, 1. We consider how the last tuple is updated without hot. Update, table, set data, b, where ID is 100, or 1000. In this case, Postgres inserts not only the new table tuple, but also the new index tuple in the index page. The inserting of the index tuple consumes the index page space, and both the inserting and vacuuming costs of the index tuples are high. The hot reduces the impact of the these issues. 7.1.2 How hot performs. When a row is updated with hot, if the updated row will be stored in the same table page that stores the old row, Postgres does not insert the corresponding index tuple and sets the heap hot updated bit and the heap only heap only tuple bit to the T inform mask two fields of the old tuple and the new tuple, respectively. Refer to figures 7.2 and 7.3. For example, in this case, Tuple 1 and Tuple 2 are set to the heap hot updated bit and the heap only tuple bit, respectively. In addition, the heap hot updated and the heap only tuple bits are used regardless of the pruning and the defragmentation processes, which are described in the following. Hmm. Are executed. In the following, a description of how Postgres accesses the updated tuples using the index scan just after updating tuples with hot is given. Pruning of the line pointers. One, find the index tuple that points to the target tuple. Two, 
access the line pointer one that is pointed from the uh, from the getting index tuple from the given index tuple. Three, read tuple one. Four, read tuple two via the T C TID of tuple one. In this case, Postgres reads two tuples, tuple one and tuple two, and decides which is visible using the concurrency control mechanism described in chapter five. However, a, pro a problem arises if the dead tuples in the table pages are removed. For example, in figure 7.4a, uh, if tuple one is removed since it's a dead tuple, tuple two cannot be accessed from the index. To resolve this problem, at an appropriate time, Postgres redirects the line pointer that points to the old tuple to the line pointer that points to the new tuple. In Postgres, this process is called pruning. Figure 7.4b uh, depicts how Postgres accesses the updated tuples after pruning. To resolve this problem, Oh wait, one, find the index tuple, access the, uh, the same as the first two steps from above. But now in step three, access the line pointer two that points to tuple two via the redirected line pointer. Redirect. The pruning process will be executed if possible when a SQL command is executed, such as select, update, insert, and delete. The exact execution timing is not described in this chapter because it is very complicated. The details are described in the readme.hot file. Postgres removes dead tuples if possible, as in the pruning process, at an appropriate time. In the document of Postgres, this processing is called defragmentation. Figure 7.5 depicts the defragmentation by hot. Note that the cost of defragmentation is less than the cost of normal vacuum processing because defragmentation does not involve removing index tuples. Thus, using hot reduces the consumption of both indexes and tables of pages. This also reduces the number of tuples that the vacuum processing has to process. Therefore, HOT has a good influence on performance because it eventually reduces the number of insertions of the index tuples by updating and the necessity of vacuum processing. Reducing the necessity of vacuum processing. The cases in which HOT is not available to clearly understand how HOT performs, the cases in which HOT is not available are described. When the updated tuple is stored in, a, in the other page, which does, which does not store the old tuple, the index tuple that points to the tuple is also inserted in the index page. Refer to figure 7.6a. When the key of the index is updated, the new index tuple is inserted in the index page. The statistics related to HOT. The pg-stat-all-tables view provides a statistics value for each table. See also this extension, pg-stats. 7.2, index-only scans. To reduce the I.O. cost, index-only scans, often called index-only access, directly use the index key without accessing the corresponding table pages when all the, table, when all the target entries of the select statement are included in the index key. This technique is provided by almost all commercial relational database management systems, such as DB2 and Oracle. Postgres has introduced this option since version 9.2.
In the following, using a specific example, a description of how index-only scans in Postgres perform is given. The assumptions of the example are explained below. Table definition. We have a table table of which the definition is shown below. Index. The table table has an index table index, which is composed of two columns, ID and name. Tuples. Table has already inserted tuples. Uh, tuple 18, uh, which has an ID of 18 and named queen and stored on the page at index 0. Tuple 19, of which the ID is 19 and the, boss, and the name is Boston, is stored on the page at index 1. Visibility. All tuples in the page at index 0 are always visible. The tuples in the page at index 1 are not always visible. Note the visibility of each page is stored in the corresponding visibility map, and the visibility map is described in section 6.2. Let us explore how Postgres reads tuples when the following select command is, is executed. Select ID name from table where ID between 18 and 19. The query gets data from two, from two columns of the table, ID and name. And the index, table index, is composed of these columns. Thus, when using index scan, it seems at first glance that accessing the table pages is not required because the index tuples contain the necessary data. However, in fact, Postgres has to check the, visibilities, the visibility of the tuples in principle, and the index tuples do not have any information about transactions such as the TX min and TX max of the heap tuples, which are described in section 5.2. Therefore, Postgres has to access the, da the table data to check the visibility of the data in the index tuples. This is like putting the cart before the horse. To avoid this dilemma, Postgres uses the visibility map of the target table. If all tuples stored in a page are visible, Postgres uses the key of the index tuple and does not access the table page that is pointed at from the index tuple to check its visibility. Otherwise, Postgres reads the table tuple that is pointed at from the index tuple and checks the visibility of the tuple, which is the ordinary process. In this example, tuple 18 need not be accessed because the page at index 0 that stores tuple 18 is visible. That is, all tuples, including tuple 18, in the page at index 0 are visible. In contrast, tuple 19 needs to be accessed to treat the concurrency control because the visibility of the page at index 1 is not visible. Refer to figure 7.7.